game, your typical tournament type game, survive in advance. Um, had a much better shooting half in the second half than the first half. Um, and I give Ryder a lot of credit. They played hard, they played well defensively, and um, you know, we persevered, got the lead up, and uh, never looked back. Questions? Did you say anything specifically at halftime that, that really mo motivated the girls, or did they do it on themselves? They do it themselves. We, we talk about what we need to do <coughs> to get better. They know what's at stake. There's, they don't know who Vince Lombardi is, so I can't give them a Vince Lombardi <laughs> speech or anything like that. So, um, my seniors motivate. You know, this is their tournament. You know, this is what they want. Um, they've been doing things each day for the kids here, you know, they're focused and, um, you know, they weren't going to let this one go. Brian, would you talk a little bit about Sydney's defensive job on Mackenzie? Well, she's, she's done a great job on her all year. Um, I think last time we held her to six points and seven rebounds. Uh, what she had today. Six points again. Um, if she would have shut down some of the other people as well as we had shut her down, but um, <coughs> you know, she's done a great job, gets great help and defense on her. And um, you know, my niece didn't get many shots. It's hard to score when you don't get many shots. Casey, when you hit that three, did that uh, get caught up the proverbial monkey off your back? Did you get the thousand points left out? Uh, I guess. Um, I've really been trying not to think about it. I mean, I've been focusing more on trying to win a match championship, and it's just been in the back of my mind. Brian, uh, for the first half, you look more like yourself in the second half. What did you do differently, if anything, in the second half? I want to be more efficient. That's basically what it, really what it was. Um, I thought we screened a lot better. Um, we had to push the ball a little bit better, uh, which we needed to do. Uh, we really didn't run. We ran early and missed a ton of layups. And then all of a sudden we stopped running, probably because they were making baskets. But, um, you know, we got some runouts uh, where Sydney excels um, in that. Uh, but we just had better movement. And, you know, they have, you know, it's their third third game in four days. And but I'll, I'll tell you, they, they play, played hard and physical all the way to the end. Coach, no doubt you're excited to uh, be back in the MAC championship game. Can't tell that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for you guys, does it feel a little anticlimactic to not be playing Iona in the uh, final game? Not at all. I mean, I don't know where that comes from. you got to remember, who in this tournament played last year in the NCAA tournament? Us and Quinnipiac. They, they've been there. Uh, Anticlimactic, and it's not even close. I mean, Emma's played great. The day that she learns that she's more valuable on the floor than off the floor and staying out of foul trouble is the day that, you know, I'll feel much more comfortable. I, I don't feel very comfortable with her sitting next to me on the bench. Um, she's just done everything for us this year. Yeah. You know, when you look at that first team, I don't think there's anybody that does more for a team than she does as far as pass, handle the ball, etc. And it's taken nothing away from somebody like Tobika who obviously put on another show today and stuff. But, you know, Emma does a lot of things with a lot fewer shots and rebounds, passes, um, does everything. Wish the defense would be a little better, but um, can't do everything. Emma, can you talk a little bit about your performance and, and can you talk a little bit about what Brian said earlier about uh, the team really kind of more or less polices itself? So, <coughs> what you say at that time? Um, I mean, kind of like you said, like, Casey Lynn and I uh, motivate ourselves and we try to get the team going. But um, I was just hitting shots at the time, and then um, once I hit a three, it opened up my drive, and then from there I was able to kick it out and hit open shooters. 
And Casey, do you remember your first ever basket that matters? No. That's <laughs> 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 the wrong question. <laughs> 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 I don't remember the <laughs> You guys have been here before, you know, you're almost here. Ryder hadn't, hadn't gotten this far yet until now. How much does that help in the close game, the fact that you guys have kind of been through a tournament with the you know, big games and stuff? I mean, having experience is great, um, especially Emma and I. This is our fourth one, this is the second. Um, I think it just brings more to next year, too, with the experience. I mean, like during the course of the game, when it's a close game like that, you guys have probably been through Mac and Long. You have been through a lot of Mac tournament wins and stuff. I mean, the, do you rely on that experience during the tournament game as opposed to them not having been through a tournament? You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They've been here. They, they never, this was the furthest they've ever been in the school's history. You guys, this was like, you guys are here every year. I think we just play every game. Like, it, it could be our last. Um, we just go out there and play hard, try to play team defense their best players and then sometimes we let the other players on the team score a lot and Jordan sure doesn't with that. But um, I mean we work really hard as a team. Uh, you hit a lot of big buckets early on in the second half. When you guys are up three and then you hit that three point and then hit the three as well, that kind of feel like it swung the momentum back in your guys' favor and allowed you to gain some separation. Um yeah it definitely gained momentum. Um, after those three the team was pretty pumped um, our bench was up, the fans were yelling and it gave us a lot of momentum. So to get back to the defense, particularly in a game like this that means so much, how much do you relish the opportunity to go up against a team's best score and try your best to, to keep her down? I just look at it as a challenge and I go out there and I try my best. Um, I know their tendencies and I try to take them away. And I can't do it without my teammates. Um, they help me out a lot. If she went by me, there would be Emma or Maddie there to take the charge and I can't do it without them. December 6th this year. Um, yeah, I just saying that they were in the Northeast Conference and that they made it to the tournament like that. Um, they're an excellent team. Uh, I mean, they're a veteran team. Um, they have four out of their five starters back and a bunch of other people who have been in this type of game. And, you know, they provide a lot of challenges. Uh, I don't think it's going to be 100 to 81 like the last time. Um, both teams hopefully will do a better job defensively. Um, it's not that long ago that we played them. Uh, but, you know, you saw it today. They're deep. They're big. They're physical. And, um, you know, they did a great job. So, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to you go through your best challenges. And right now they're the best.